Hey guys, welcome to another short kind of like helpful tip video. I've been working on Hawkins and I really thought I could get it out by now, but I keep finding new things that I want to share and realizing this video is getting really long. I need to refine it and do this or that. So long story short, I'm moving another video up, which is uh, this video. I've had some things going on IRL I've been working on, so uh, streaming has been a bit difficult. I really hope to get back to streaming soon and uh, back to my regular upload schedule because wow, I've been gone for like a week. But uh, anyway, also, wait, wait, wait. Can we talk about the Nia glasses? Can we talk about these? Behavior, please make this not just a lobby bug. I want this in game, please. In game, please. Anyway, this video is five tips that I think would help any survivor who doesn't know them. That's not to say new survivors don't know them or even experienced survivors have to know them. It's just kind of things that you pick up on that makes your life easier. And once you notice them, you're like, wow, why wasn't I doing it like this the whole time? So, but uh, anyway, like if you like, subscribe if you like me and let's get the video started. The first tip is to loop things as tightly as possible. And I've said this in previous videos and I'm saying it again now because it's so, so helpful. And I just see killers and survivors looping way too loose and it just hurts them. Anyway, as a survivor, you wanna loop as tightly as possible to um, basically punish the killer as much as possible and maximize the amount of time until they catch up to get that first hit or to get that initial down. Um, it just, it punishes them and uses the loop as well as you can. So anyway, the trick to do this is really simple. You, if you're going clockwise around an object, then you just hold A and turn your screen. And if you're going counterclockwise, you hold D and turn your screen. And in some cases you wanna hold like D and S or you wanna hold A and S. Uh, the reason for that is because sometimes you wanna be looking at a diagonal angle and not a flat angle. But for me, the flat angle in most cases is pretty helpful. Sometimes if I know a corner's coming up, I'll be holding D and you'll see me tap S, which is why my controls are on the screen. And yeah, long story short, I don't wanna overdo any of these sections, so just know Hold the directional key, turn your mouse. This is gonna be so, so helpful in helping you hug loops tighter and loops that have odd shapes like the trash areas or rocks with trees on them. It just helps you to do curves and even sharp turns way easier than if you just hold D and then press W and then try to adjust your screen separately, causing you to go back through your keys again. It's just extra inputs that are not necessary. And there's other benefits to this, which is gonna be part of tip number two. Tip number two is while you're looping and holding your screen in these types of ways, you use the corners or the edges of your screen to see things, not the middle of your screen. The killer does not have to be in the middle of your screen for you to see them. In fact, it's punishing to you if you're looking completely backwards while you're on a loop because you can't see in front of you. And I'm not saying you can't look a little bit diagonal, but if you're looking and the killer is in the middle of your screen, you do not see what you're running backwards towards. Um, and if you're on a loop and not running in the open, that's not really necessary. So anyway, tip number three is baiting windows. And you can say this about pallets too, but mostly for windows because baiting pallets is kind of like you're greedy or you're trying to get an extra loop or you're trying to just be kind of a bully. Whereas baiting windows is like, you're literally not going to make the, like if you vault the window for real, the killer is going to get a hit on you. But if you bait the window, you might get them to swing early. And since you didn't actually lock into animation, they will miss. So to bait a window, some people just brush into it, but there's this trick that I'm gonna teach you now where as you're about to be in range to vault, you flip your you flick your screen up really quick. And because the killer sees your head move a little bit, they think that you're locking yourself into the animation to perform the vault, which means they will greedily swing early, even though if you were locking into animation, they might not even need to swing at that point, right? It mostly works on slightly less experienced killers and killers that don't really know a lot of the tricks about vaulting like <clears throat> items disappearing but anyway this is a survivor video so again flipping your screen up some people do this at pallets as well they'll brush into the pallet and flip their screen up some people also do this if the killer starts waiting for your dead hearts uh just running they'll flip your screen up which i've never really understood but i've seen people flip their screen up and almost a minute like a second later they'll press dead hard because in flipping their screen up the killer's like okay they wait a second for dead hard to technically start and then they swing and since that hard didn't start when you flipped your head and that started actually a second later, I don't know, I guess it works, but long story short, the only one I'm telling you specifically is good is the window bait head flick. Anyway, number four. Uh, number four is, I did a whole video on fast vaulting, which I can link in the description if you haven't seen it, but this is specific to like the actual vaults where you can only flick your screen. Literally flick left, right as fast as possible, not as fast as possible, but flicking left and then flicking right to get these really hard vaults. And Hawkins is a good example of this. Um, it's just another technique. There's not really much to say about it. Just literally Wing left, right, 
vault, or the other way, depending on what angle you're coming from. It's just a really good thing to get in the habit of, even if it's not completely necessary for some windows, it's just nice to practice these windows and uh, get a fast vault, because sometimes it can be the difference between going down in two seconds and going down in 10 seconds. And if you can buy your team, eight more seconds for the killer to vault the window, and even if there's no more resources, then that is worth. So anyway, and uh, tip number five, the final tip is to learn and practice segueing loops. This is a hard skill to teach in my opinion, but basically it's the idea of not using pallets when you can otherwise use windows. This uh, billy clip is a good example, um, though it is a greedy one. I was looping at shack, I didn't use shack pallet, I ran past a filler pallet, and again, it is super greedy and risky, but I went for a window bait instead of looping more pallets. And then I tried to basically use that loop, but ended up needing to use the pallet because he pushed me around. But anyway, uh, there's lots of examples of this. Uh, there's lots of instances where you might have like a TNL wall or a jungle gym's long wall facing you and you're looping a filler pallet and you can just go around the filler pallet a couple times and then go for the, for the vault on the window. The reason this is so good is because number one, you're not burning a non-renewable resource like a pallet. And number two, you're eating up distance before using a window instead of wasting all the distance you had vaulting a window when the killer's not even close to you yet but you are in chase, so you're using one of your three vaults before the window is going to block. Also, you make it so that you have resources available if you try to go to another loop and you realize the killer went an unexpected way, you can still return to your original resource and basically compensate by having to be forced then to use the resources. Anyway, that's super confusing and kind of boring, uh, but that does conclude the uh, five tip tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, and I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Have a good night.